my name is misty and i am back again with another same one guys i hope you guys had a great week because uh mine was okay i had a great week i had fun at work it was really amazing i hope you guys had fun at um at school so our uh, someone for today is coming from the book of john chapter 13 verse 34 and you know what a story is told of two guys so the older one was Tino and the little one was Sam. So mom bought a new bike. Mom and dad bought a new bicycle for Tino and Tino was very happy. He would drive his bicycle to and from uh, school, playing with his friends. It was really fun. And you know when um, Sam was old enough to get a bicycle, mom bought a new bicycle for Sam. And you know what happened? Tino was um, very jealous. Just like, how can mom buy a new bicycle for my little brother? Yet I'm the old brother and my bicycle is old and she didn't buy a new bicycle for me. She's not fair. Ha! Ah, you know, I was thinking of all those bad, bad, bad and negative um, thoughts. So you know what happened? So the night when everyone else was asleep, Tino you know, woke up and he was like, ha! Huh? It's really not fair that my little brother has a nice bicycle and now everyone in the neighborhood is looking at him. They think he's cooler than me. Oh, what should I do? And you know what he did? Mm, it was very evil. So Tino woke up and then he took a scissors. Do you know scissors, guys? What do you use the scissors for? Cut papers. Yes, exactly. That's right. So Tino took um, the scissors and he went to the garage where the bicycles were. And you know what he did? Mm, it was very bad. So, you know what he did with his scissors? Ah, he said, he said, you know, he said, he said, what's this? You know, with, with the scissors. He was doing this to the wheels of the bicycle. Yes, and he was doing that with an angry face. And he was like, he won't ride this bicycle ever again. He won't ride this bicycle ever again. Mm, that was very evil, you know. So, you know, after doing all that, after destroying his little brother's bicycle, Tino went back inside and I mean, he slept. And when he woke up in the morning, um, mom called him. Mom was like, Tino, Tino, Tino. I was like, um, yes, mom, what's up? Mom was like, Tino, what happened to Sam's bicycle? Tino was like, Psh, mom, you are saying Sam's bicycle, so how am I supposed to know? You know what? That story reminds me of a certain story in the Bible from the book of Genesis. So there's a story of two boys. Uh, do you know the, the boys? Anyone who wants to try? These guys were brothers. Anyone? Did someone say Cain and Abel? Exactly, Cain and Abel. And you know what happened, guys? Hmm. Cain was very jealous of his little brother Abel because God had told him that, guys, if you want to bring sacrifices, you need to bring a lamp. A lamp. Yes, a lamp. And do you know what the lamp uh, stood for? Do you? All right, so the lamb back then stood for Jesus was supposed to come as the sacrificial lamb. And even up to today, Jesus is the, is the lamb to sacrifice for us, right? Isn't Jesus died for us, guys? You know that, right? Exactly, you guys are brilliant. All right, so God had told them that. And you know what happened? Abel obeyed God and he went to God with his offering. He gave it to God and God really accepted the lamb because God was happy because Abel had listened to God. And do you know what Cain did? Cain was like, uh, okay, I'll just take my vegetables. After all, these vegetables are nice. They are fresh. They are okay. So I'll just take them to God and then I'll give them to God. But God had told them that, guys, you need to bring a lamp, not vegetables. So Cain went with the vegetables, and when he got there, you know, he sacrificed the vegetables. But God did not accept the vegetables because God had told them that they were supposed to bring a lamp. So when that happened, Cain was very jealous. He's like, hmm, have you ever guys been angry? Have you ever been angry at one point in time? Yes, that face you made when you were angry. That's the exact face which you came back. He was like, hmm, how can God deny my offering when he is asking my little brother's offering? It is not fair. It is not fair. And it is not fair. Therefore, I am going to do with my little brother because God did not deal fairly with me. So Cain said, Abel, let's go to the fields. And then they went to the forest. And you know what happened? Cain killed his little brother abel why because of jealous guys so our someone for today guys coming from the book of john i said from the book of john do you remember the chapter 
Anyone who remembers the chapter, anyone, anyone. Yes, it's John 13 and the verse is verse 34. So the Bible reads, A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, and that you also love one another. You know, Jesus had to repeat that you guys have to love one another. So boys and girls, we don't want boys and girls who are like Cain, who will be jealous of their brothers. And when you see your little brother, you know, doing well at school, and then you are jealous, you want to tear their report up, or you maybe see your friend, she has a new dress, your mom bought a new dress from UK, and you're like, hmm, how can my tipa have a new dress when I don't have a new dress? That is so not fair. And then you take mud, then you pour mud on, your, on her dress, it's not nice. We should never be like that. So for such a time as this, God is looking for boys and girls who have love in their hearts. God is looking for boys and girls who are willing to love each other. So how do we love each other? Anyone who wants to try, how do you love each other? Yes, by sharing our toys with them. Yes, by sharing our books with them. Exactly, by not saying grumpy words to them, by not being rude to them, we should be nice to each other. We should learn to love our friends, that's right, boys and girls. And we should also learn to love our parents and to obey our parents. Because, you know what, whenever, whenever you're at home and you want to do something bad, up to your little brother or your little sister or your big brother or your big sister, mom would be like, Tino, don't do that. Matip has a little sister. Tino, don't do that. Coop has a little brother. I'm sure mom always say that at home. So boys and girls, always remember that whatever you do in life, God is watching. And you know what? What really hates me from the story of Cain and Abel is that when God asked um, Cain and God said, Cain, where's your little brother Abel? Just like uh, Tino, the big brother, Cain said, God, how am I supposed to know? Am I his keeper now? Like, Cain was questioning God that, God, are you asking about my brother? Am I his keeper now? So boys and girls, listen up. We should never be rude to our parents, to God, or to anyone. Because Cain was actually supposed to apologize and say, God, maybe just have someone to say, God, I'm really sorry. You know, I, I killed my, I don't know what exactly we're supposed to say because he had done something wrong because killing is bad. But anyway, guys, we are supposed to admit your mistakes. And you know what happened? Instead of admitting his mistake, Cain actually was grumpy to God. He was rude to God. He's like, um, am I his keeper now? I'm sure we have boys and girls here who are like that. They, they are always grumpy. They are parents. They are, they are rude to their parents. When mom says, um, Tino, spread your bed. Tino will be like, shh. We're like, I'm the maid here. Yeah, I know you guys, I know you, but that is a very bad habit. We should always be nice and we should always obey our parents and always remember that Jesus told us that we should always, always and always have love in our hearts. We should learn to love others because if you hate others, then you become like certain and you become a bad person. So always remember that when you want to do something bad to someone, when you want to do something bad to your friend, to anyone in your class, when you want to say any 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 grumpy words, if you want to say any rude words to anyone, always remember that you are being like Cain and being like Cain is not right. So for today, we want to pray, asking God to help us that as boys and girls may be able to live according to God's will and that as boys and girls, we may not be grumpy, we may not be rude and we may be nice, our friends, is it boys and girls? Yeah, so if there is any one of us who's saying, God, help me, I want to be able to, to be nice to my friends. I don't want to be grumpy. I want to be a person who plays well with others. If you're like that, then lift up your hand as I am praying. Let's pray together. So we are now praying. So our kind and loving Father in heaven, we would like to thank you, Jehovah, for the gift of life. Thank you so much for being our Lord and your God. Help us, Lord, to have love in our hearts. May we never be grumpy. May we never be rude. And may we always be nice to each other. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So, boys and girls, that was our sermon for today. Always remember that Misty doesn't like grumpy kids and Misty doesn't like rude boys and girls. Yes, exactly. I don't like anyone who's rude. Yes, I want all of you guys to be nice to each other, to play well with each other and to resemble the character of Christ. Isn't boys and girls? 
So from Misty, it's goodbye. Until next time, I will see you and uh, enjoy the rest of your Sabbath. Bye from me.